Okay, in today's video, we are going to go over an example using the work, as you can see here, energy theorem, which is the network done on an object is equal to the change in kinetic energy. Now, this is kind of an interesting problem. We have a toy dart gun that is going to fire a dart. That's not the interesting part. But in that dart gun, the spring is going to exert an average force of 35 newtons over a distance of eight centimeters. And the mass of the dart is 35, 35, 75 grams. And we wanna know what is the speed of the dart as it leaves the spring, as it leaves the gun. Okay, now you can see we've been given a force and a distance, so you should kinda of be thinking about work. And in this problem, we have to use the work energy theorem, which says the net work is equal to the change in kinetic energy. I'm going to expand both of those terms. That means that the force times the distance times the cosine of the angle between those two, the force and the distance, is equal to the change in kinetic energy. Now the change in kinetic energy is the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy, the equation for kinetic energy being 1 half mv squared. So here we have 1 half mv final squared minus 1 half mv initial squared, the mass and the velocity, the mass and the velocity. Now you need to remember for this type of problem that the initial velocity when the dart is in the gun, the initial velocity is zero. If the initial velocity is zero, then the initial kinetic energy is zero. So we can drop that term, cancel that term out of our equation, and we're left just with that FD cosine theta equals 1 half mv squared. This is the velocity we're trying to solve for, this velocity. Okay. Now, we can do this in one simple step. It's relatively straightforward to solve for velocity in this equation, but I like to do it in two steps. So I like to write everything out, and I'm going to first solve for the amount of work done, because I have right here my force and my distance, and then I'm simply going to plug that back into this equation. So I'm going to just calculate the amount of work. The work is the force times the distance times the cosine of theta. The force is 35 newtons. The distance is 8 centimeters, which is 0 0.08 meters. And the cosine of theta, theta being the angle between the distance and the, dis and the force. And basically, if you have a force and a distance and they're both going in the same direction, just think about the dart is coming out of the gun to the right. The force is also to the right. That means the cosine, that means theta in this case is zero. And you should remember that the cosine of zero is one. So it's just 35 times 0 0.08 times one. And that gives us that the spring in the gun does 2.8 joules of work as it fires that gun, I mean, as it fires that dart. Now we can go in and plug that back into our equation. The work is 2.8 joules. This is our equation, that the network is equal to the change in kinetic energy, which means that the network is equal to 1 half mv final squared. And again, we're solving for this velocity. We can solve pretty easily for this velocity. We know the amount of work. We solved that on the other side in the previous slide. Now we're going to solve for velocity. So we're just going to uh, multiply both sides by 2, divide both sides by m and take the square root and we get that the final velocity is equal to the square root of two times the network which we already know divided by the mass which we were given 75 grams so the final velocity is equal to the square root of 2 times 2.8 divided by 75 grams which is 0 0.075 kilograms to convert to kilograms, basic units in the metric system, and you get that the final velocity of the dart as it leaves the gun is 8.6 meters per second. Okay, I think that's pretty straightforward. You do have to kind of remember the work energy theorem, and you do have to kind of remember that though in work energy theorem, you can get the final velocity out of that equation. Okay, that's a common thing I think you'll see in physics. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that video helpful. If you found that video helpful, please give me a nice comment in the comment section below or a thumbs up, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.